When you read a book, don't you try to picture sometimes what the author may look like? I do, and most often that picture in your head is not correct. Take this man, for example, Bob Kegg. He's a state farm agent in Muscatine. He also wrote two, mo two novels that are filled with action and adventure and family strife. And I, I'm loving the little bit I've read so far, Bob. Well, thank you for having me. I yeah. appreciate it. Shadow of Descent and Shadow of Vendetta. What's, what's your deal with shadows? Have you figured that out yet? Well, the shadow, uh, as you can see on the cover, is representative of like the vendetta. The shadow comes down and, and hits the tree on the cover and it, it kind of kills that part of the tree and it's the shadow of evil mm -hmm. in, both, uh, in both cases. So. Oh, the, you know, that age old battle between good and evil. As, see, now I've written, see, I'm gonna show you how much I've, I, I just started to read it. This thing, you wrote me a note in here that says, once you start this, you won't be able to put it down. And I thought, yeah, whatever. You were right. <laughs> it was very hard to stop because you write in a very compelling way. It's very exciting. I love the way you write about emotion and th the action and the emotion that, that go together. How did you, have you always had this, this, this knowledge, this skill? Uh, no, I was never trained in writing. I was more of a math guy in school and uh, it's just something I kind of different um, community events, I write things, and for my work, I write things. And so, um, when I decided to just get into the writing thing, it just, you know, just my technique, I guess you'd say. It, you know, that must be, a, it's, a, it's a natural gift. It has to be. Because if you're telling me you weren't trained, and you can write like that, and, uh, and it's, it's very exciting to read. I can't wait to get through this one. This second one has, a, is it, they're related in a way? Yeah, they are a series. And uh, what's unique is there is a secondary character that links both the books. Okay. And there's a third book um, coming that, hmm. um, the secondary character is a, a really good character once you get to know him. And uh, he's kind of a tough guy problem solver that. Uh, hmm. Well, I, I, and you do write some tough things. I mean, even a little bit I've, I've read, there's already been uh, one murder, but, uh, and it was, uh, was terrible. I mean, it's a, it's a, it was a sad killing, yeah. Um, anyway, so what <laughs> the other thing I want to <laughs> say about this, though, Bob, is that what you do for a living normally doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be related to this at all. You sell insurance. I'm an insurance agent, And yes. you've been doing that for how long? For 39 years. And, and you graduated from University of Iowa, yes? Yes, yeah. So insurance is your thing? Insurance is definitely my thing. Yes. Because writing books probably doesn't, does that pay anything ever? A little bit, little you know, bit. Um, yeah, you know, gradually things happen. And uh, mm -hmm. one thing I've noticed is with the publication of the second book is the first book is actually selling additional copies because oh. it is a series and so. Well, it came out, I mean, what it said, it said something on here about it being a bestseller for this, for, for Hugo House. Yeah. So it is good. It's really good, this <laughs> book. Hugo Haas is my publisher, okay. and they have their own bookstore, and they keep track of things. And so, yes, on the book, on the Hugo Haas publishing. It is, is um, do, you, do you enjoy the insurance thing because you can do that at your own pace, what, as much or little as you want, and so you have time to write these exciting novels? Uh, I wouldn't term it that way. Our, you know, we're full time all day, and it's, you have to serve people. Yes, of course, and yes. it's it's a it's a good business, and uh, I've several people that help me in that business, and we're active, very active in it. And this is uh, not during business hours at all. It's no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. If, if uh, Bob's your agent there in Muscatine, <laughs> and you're trying to get a hold of him, and he's writing his book, you think, well, you know. Um, you have a third one coming out. Yes. 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 And I've got a good start on that. And uh, it's coming, starting out really good. I'm really happy with the way it's starting out. And um, I've got a lot more work to do. Uh, the writing is just part of, of getting a book to where it can be read. Well, I'll bet, because... I, first of all, I can't even imagine what goes on in an author's head when you guys, when you're developing these stories and these people and how they interact. And your your dialogue is beautiful, by the way, too. The way people talk to each other, I like that. I I I, I always dislike it when I read a book and, and I'm and they have a conversation with people and and you can tell that's not the way people talk to each other. Mm -hmm. But yours really is is right on with that. Well, thank you. Um, let's just leave the folks with this one thing. If you feel like you, there's a book in you somewhere. How did moral do you get started? So I think the main thing is just to get started. And the way I write for my books is I don't have a, like a general outline. I just go step by step. I actually write little short stories and uh, try and hope that they'll work in the book. But several of them don't even work in the book. Mm -hmm. And so I've got these good little short stories that are out there that for whatever reason, it doesn't move the story along fast enough or it just didn't fit for some reason. But uh, so I'm just always kind of thinking of 
little things instead of a big thing. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to your, your future writing right here. Um, so this is uh, robertjosephauthor.com. I, I guess I didn't even mention that the, the name you use on your books is uh, Robert Joseph. That is, uh, that's your, uh, your author's name. My yeah. pen name your because pen name. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my insurance company doesn't want me to co-mingle the businesses. So okay. I have, uh, sure. my actual name is Robert Joseph Keg. So there I you go. thought that yeah, worked out fine. Well, congrats, Bob, on what you've done. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing everything you, you come out with in the future. Thank you for having me. I appreciate okay. it.